In this video, I want to demonstrate left and right outer joins. And for my examples, I'm going to use a test database that just has three tables in it. I have a department table, an employee table, and offices table. Looking at the EER diagram, it looks something like this, where I have offices. All right, and all I care about the office is its number, address, city, state, zip. And that office can have many employees. So then in the employee table, I'm just looking at an employee ID and, of course, first name, last name, and the same thing, city, state, zip, and address. And very similarly, I have a department. So a department number and then the name like engineering or HR or services. And a department can have many employees. So my foreign keys are right here, office number and department number. When I look at an employee table, I can see what office it belongs to and what department um, they belong to by looking at these numbers. So once we've established that, now let's talk about outer joins. First, I'm going to pull up a graphic that um, I think is really good for explaining joins. And in a previous video, we've already talked about what we call inner joins, where basically if, I were to, if this table was my employees and B was the offices, an inner join would say, show me all the employees who have an office. Right, there is an office number next to the employee name. That would be this red area right here. Okay, that's called an inner join. Now we're gonna get into outer joins. There's a left and a right. And it will look like this. We're gonna table A, left join, table B. And sometimes you'll see the word outer here, left outer join, but it's optional. Anyway, so that's basically show me all my employees even if, if they have an office, which would be this portion of the circle, or if they don't have an office, which would be this outer portion of a circle, or if I were to look at it down here and do a right join, this would say, show me all my offices, and offices with employees would be in here. If I had an office, maybe it's been discontinued or something, so it has no employees, it would be out here. There is a such thing as a full outer join. Gosh, I can't remember if we can do that in MySQL or not. I don't have any examples of this, but they basically show me all my employees, whether or not they have an office. Show me all my offices, whether or not they have an employee. And that would just be a full outer join. You'd just be basically getting back every record from the, both tables. Now, the one we will be playing with, because I find it more interesting, and that is show me the employees who don't have an office, right? I don't want people with offices. I only want those people without an office. Or another example we'll do is show me employees who don't have a department. Or vice versa, excluding join down here, is show me a department or an office who doesn't have any employees. Maybe we're trying to get a list of all of the offices that we've closed. So those are called right excluding and left excluding join. So let's go run these examples. Hopefully these graphics help put into perspective what uh, what's actually we're trying to do. Here's my example. Show me all the employees and their office address. So I got employees first and last name. Their address is office address. And the city is office city. From employee left join offices. And I'm using the office num as the common column between those two as the office number. And I'm just going to order by the address. So this is all the employees. Notice I have all here and their office. So let's run that. And here's what we get. We get employees and their offices, right? I can see their addresses down here. But notice at the top, I have employees where the address is null. So that tells me right there that these are people who don't have an office for whatever reason. Maybe they work from home, and so they don't they aren't associated to an office for that reason. So these are employees who have um, they they are employees, but they don't not they do not have an office. For as these are employees with an office. Okay, this was a left join. Now let's talk about the left versus right for a second. Really, all it, it has to do with the order that you're typing your from clause. That's it. The, the fact that this is left simply refers to the table that's on the left of this statement, which means I'm going to get all my employees, because that's on the left of my statement, and I'm only going to get offices that have um, employees in them. 
So referring to our graphic up here in the left join, all my employees, but I'm only going to get offices that have an employee in them. So that's what left has to do right there. Now, what's typically more inter interesting, and that's why I talked about was that left excluding join, is what if I only wanted to see the employees who don't have an office? I only want to see these guys. All you have to do is take any column, any column out of the office table, right, is going to be null because the whole point is they don't have an office. So all I have to do is add this line where o.address or o.city, o.zip, o.anything, o dot any column out of the office table will be null. So I just have to say, show me employees where some column in that table is null. Now, of course, I'm still doing my left join. Okay, so, because if I didn't do a left join, remember, I'm only going to get employees who have an offer. That's an equi join. That's what we did last week. So here we go. I'll run that. There you go. There's all my employees who don't have an office. Now let's repeat all these exercises with a right join. And remember, the only difference between right and left is how you typed it. So in this case, I'm typing it the same way. Employees, right join offices. So employee tables on the left, office tables on the right. Well, because I use the word right here, I'm now saying show me all the offices, whether they have an employee or not, and their employees. So I'm only going to see employees who have an office. Okay, going back to our graphic, right join, all the offices. But in terms of my employee table, only those that have an office. So here we go. Let me run that. And here's what we see. We see, well, I'm going to make that big, employees with offices. And notice I have no null values here. Okay, and we ran a right join. So what that tells me is I don't have any offices without employees. Well, let's double check that. Right down here, I'm going to run the same query, employee right join offices, although I have a mistake here. In this case, any column out of the employee table, so any column out of the employee table would be null if I have an office with no employees. So I need any column, F name, L name, E dot address, E dot city, E dot zip would be null if I have an office without an employee. So I'll run that and I get nothing back because I don't have any offices without employees in this case. I have employees without offices, but not offices without employees. Okay, let's continue with another example, just playing with the department table. And so just to reiterate all this, we'll do it again. Except this time the question is, show me an employee that does not belong to a department. So here we go. We're just going to take the employee table, left join it to a department, right? Because I want all, basically all the employees, whether they belong to a department or not. So I will left join because that table is on the left side of this statement. Join it to department using department num as the common field. And I'm going to look for where anything in the department call table is null. And so there's only two columns, the number and the name. Before I do that where clause, let me just run the top part of this. And here we're getting, because I got rid of the where clause, all my employees in their department name. But if I were to scroll down, oops, here's a guy with null in the department number and name because he does not belong to a department. Okay, so now I will run it with this where clause in it. I'm saying where any department name is null, or at least any column in there is null. So there you go. I have three people who maybe are individual contributors, right? They don't belong to a department. They just help wherever they can. So three people who don't belong to an department. Now, what if I wanted the same question? I will accept, show me a department that doesn't have any employees. Maybe it's a discontinued department name that we're not using anymore. I can do it as a right join because the employees here, I will right join on the department because the department's over here. So but the fact that it's a right join in this case is show me everything from this right hand table. And then of course, where I say anything off the employee table is null, well, that is going to eliminate everybody else. So real quick, without the where clause, let me run it. 
So here I'm seeing employees and their departments. But notice right at the very top, I also have a department with no employee. I think there might be two oh, or three. So here's another department with no employees and another department with no employees. So if I only wanted to see those three, I could run down here and grab that where clause where any F name or L name is null. It doesn't matter. Anything in the employee table will be null if it's a department without an employee. So there we go. There are my um, three departments that maybe I should delete out of my database because we're no longer using them. I have no employees in those departments. Could I have gotten the same results using a left join? Sure. All I would have had to do is switch department D on this side. I'll change this word to left and employee E on this side and put that there. So exact same query, except now the department's on the left. So I make it a left join instead of a right join. So there's no magic to the word left or right. It literally refers to the order that you type the tables in. But now if I run that, I still get the same results. So the last concept on this video, and I don't have a real example for doing, uh, for demonstrating this, so we're just gonna talk about it. But let's say in this model, I happen to have for department a table that linked to department called department data. I don't know. I just had all sorts of information about each of the individual departments to some degree. Um, it's just a separate table connected to department. Okay, so here's my point. I want to join three tables. So employee joins department, and then from department, I'm going to join department data. So in our bookstore database, we've been joining across from customers all the way over to book author. So it's join, 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 okay? How does left join affect having multiple tables? Well, basically the bottom line is this word right here, the joins process left to right, okay? Meaning if I say employees left join department, you know that I'm gonna get all the employees, whether they have a department or not. Okay, now, so that combined table of all my employees and those with the departments, those without, that table will now get joined to this department table. Okay, so I took these two and did what you asked, and now it's taking that resultant table and joining with this. Okay, because that is going to be a different join or a different result than if the word left were over here. Okay, because now this is just a straightforward join, right? So I'm gonna only get employees who have a department. It's just a equi join, right? Where I'm using the department number. Only getting employees that have a department, just a conventional join. That resulting table will now left join to this department data, right? So by putting the word left over here, I'm not getting any employees who don't belong to a department. Right, because we've said, nope, just do a regular join. Leave off those employees who don't belong to a department. So you don't have to think about that, but basically if you can remember that we join the process left to right, whatever this combined table is, well, at that point, do a left or right join to, to this information. Just think in terms of result sets as you read across your from statement. So um, what, what's the result of this? Oops, I'm on the wrong line. What's the result of this? And then, you know, what's what what that result left joining to that table?